Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I don't know why that's what I do every time I start a video on this. It's the Laho! Be a girl! <laughs> but, I am back with more Purple Princess time. And I'm going to make, be making sure to finish Dark Souls 2 tomorrow on Twitch, so... That shall be done. I don't know how long Fallout's going to take, but we're not here for that right now. It's already Sunday! <laughs> now, if I remember correctly, we left off where Yuri is about to come to our house. So, we can see what that's cr what's the word for. Extravagant. No? I'm sure there's a word there. We're gonna see what happens. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but that doesn't help much. Yuri's clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt she opened up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting each other, occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But, putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Siori since she left the club earlier the other day. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just got done eating chili. <sniffs> Tasty. <clears throat> it's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. It's been a while. What? Oh wait, what, what words am I reading? Between what Siori said and what Annika said, it's really okay for me to put Siori's feelings aside when she might need me? Well, no, but in this case, yes. I decided to visit Siori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over. Much like we've done in the past. I should reach Siori's house and knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often, we made it a habit of simply entering each other's house like we were a family. I think I read that last line wrong. The house is quiet. Siri is anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in the room. It's already strange for her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Siori! And we get to relive this sad moment. Uh, honestly? Nah, it wouldn't be much worth it. Hi, Sarkopus. I sit down in her room. Siri forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much to really change, has it? Siri's room is still as messy as it always been. I do recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. He, <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. Not because I'd end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Surya sure had already left by the time we decided the last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival of preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course, but I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Yuri stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something was wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... Shuri smiles, shaking her head. <laughs> Shuri. <laughs> that's not. Uh, that's no good, Sarkopus. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? It's my fault. But I think it's. Oh my god. Now I don't want to read all this again, just because it's BS. <sighs> if I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make the stupid mistake, then you would have been worried about me at all. Shut up, Siori! <laughs> ah. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have ever been thinking about me right now. But this, this is just my punishment, isn't it? You ain't punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. No, I decided. Thank you. It just wants to torture me. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Siori! Shut up! <laughs> I grab her by the arms and shake her relentlessly. 
What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Siori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Succubus. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Siori? Oh my god, you didn't, person. You're really just gonna make me sing it, aren't you, Succubus? I guess I have no choice this time. Thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know? Gibbing. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put energy into caring the waste they having them spend time on me? I can put you a butcher, that's it. Shut up. That's what it feels like. That's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. Because I'm an idiot. I can't even figure out how to respond. Because I'm an idiot. How is it possible that Siori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Because you're an idiot. Did she really want so badly for me not to just think about her? Hi, Siori. Eh. Why is it you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every little day better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Succubus. Why do you think I didn't tell you? So if I told you, you would have wasted effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I want so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone else in the club. Feels like a spear is going through my heart. So that's why I just decided the world wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. You're right, I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sigourney, because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Pardon my French. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, it's what I'll do. No succubus. There is nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could have gone like it's always been. But I was selfish. I finally showed what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Siori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. I was pushed by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. Or punished by the... And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. That's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Shut up! I hate this. <laughs> Without thinking, I once again grab Siri's shoulders. Those... Thick... <laughs> I Yes, I'm making a joke at this time. I've had my serious moments in this. I am done. This time, I pour into a tight embrace. Ah, Succubus. Siori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, it's just a bonus. Please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Succubus. Siori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Siori's arms remain at her side. She starts sobbing next to my ear. Oh, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Succubus? Hi. Siori bans the barely manages to speak, so very similar to me, my cognitive function, to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want for her is to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. If there's anything that you need me to do, you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I gently, Siri puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Succubus. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hooks are so warm. That's really scary, too. 
So already lets go of me. As she does, I do as well. Festival is tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend all of it with you? Um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I, I think it would be nice then. Siri wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. All day is supposed to be the one day where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you do that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for you to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, she already shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I'll look forward to it. Say goodbye to Siori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about when Yuri's about to come over too. I think Siori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. We're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow because this isn't the original version of the game. I should just focus on what's ahead. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, <laughs> thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry, I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. Three hours ago, that's all. <laughs> but I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. Could have always texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried home. Ah, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything. I'm sure it'll be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curious wait, just glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. So clean. <laughs> uh, well, I cleaned it pretty game over, so... It's always a mess. That's very concerned of you to do. Ah, no, I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm, well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, that would have been even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there! I snatch Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. Hmm. I don't know if she still does it. She puts both of her hands firmly on her lap as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. The atmosphere enhancements? You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles, I didn't think of that word. Oh wow, I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course, I want to help our guests to a, I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop us out of curiosity, and for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah, intense? Yeah, I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. I'm kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah, like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a one soldier shaped object. I did some shopping the way here. Ooh, sorry. So I happen to have these in my bag. I had to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? This is a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? I am about as familiar as the candle put in my room by my money. Not familiar at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributions to a positive atmosphere. 
Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeating through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. I see. Romance, huh? Yuri takes the cylinder and puts the switch on at the bottom. Just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole at the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions, helps you feel them flow throughout your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think it would be perfect for sharing your poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll just trust your opinion of anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write different ca- I don't know how to pronounce that word, but I'm going to attempt kanji? <laughs> that or something silent. Characters in each paper. What I need is- We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What are those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut the pieces of ribbon to hang from a doorway in the classroom. Then we can fasten the kanji paper onto the ribbons and create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would catch an eye of those passing by the room. It may attract someone to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. <laughs> I, I love that laugh. Anytime I just see something and the laugh isn't ha ha, hee hee, ho ho, it's just uh hoo hoo. <laughs> just uh hoo hoo, hee hee hee, ah ha ha, uh hoo hoo. I love that laugh. I don't know why. It just uh, brings things out of me. Just gawk. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Sarkopus. You can write any characters you want. I hope you want you to finish cutting the ribbons. Alright. I sit in the floor together and two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. That would be me. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife, because that's what we use to cut ribbon. Not scissors. What are scissors for? They don't exist. Stop talking. A knife and the strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. Looks really fancy. Ah, well. Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think this is weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into nice. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what What am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> you're, la you're laughing at me. No, 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 no. I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. Can't deny that. It is, isn't it? It relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn around my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Now I want to know, because I have seen some sharpness in my time, but I have yet, well actually, no, yeah, no, I have yet to be able to poke my finger on the tip of any recently sharpened knife and it just casually poked through my finger. Like, I'm not just ramming my finger into it. It's boop, boop, boop. Okay, cool. Like, the only time I've ever cut my finger on the point of a knife was when I was trying to cut open something. I was wrapped in a bunch of thick duct tape, and I just sharpened my knife. I'm like, oh man, this is going to be a pain to cut through. So I angled it, I started slicing through, and I was like, alright, got to really force. But my dumb butt had my finger out too far, so I slid through it like butter. Several rolls of duct tape, just shing, 
right into my finger. And I was actually bleeding quite a bit out of it. It didn't cut it. Well, it cut it, but it didn't cut it. It just punctured it. So it was, I just had a fair sized hole in my finger. Which did not feel good. Owl! <laughs> Archipus! Why did you do that? Didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It could cut through skin like it's paper. I wonder how you know that. Oh no. <laughs> a small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Here he takes my hand, giving the wound a closer look. Ah. She starts she stares at no subdue fidgets. If you're squeamish, so go wash it off now. Ah, without warning, Yuri puts a finger into my mouth and licks the wound. Feel a tongue curl around my finger. I start startled. I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh, uh, pl please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I. Yuri lowers her head. Her face is burning up after sucking my finger. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh. Sure, I was a little weird then. It took me by surprise, but I guess she was trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. Oh, she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon! No! Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I'll do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return, making sure I get all the crevices. Circumpose, did you really just do that? Now we're even. Yuri <laughs> looks at me like I just did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for this sweet aroma of jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. It's so weird, Succubus. Yuri shyly giggles. Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it's already stopped bleeding. I see. That's for leaving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our expected activities. I watch you and I have cut through the ribbons like it was nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue making progress. Making progress on Kanji. After we finish attaching the paper to the poems, we lay them out side by side. It looks better than I expected, and it will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Jerry. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Jerry had me ask, uh, had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? <laughs> of course not. Six cups of water? I'll be right back in a minute. Thanks very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups up too much, it'll be diluted. Actually, I used to paint with uh, watercolor tablets. They were really fun. Taking your use of us, I decided to use small plastic cups rather than full-size glasses. Put them on the plate and catch any uh, paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, putting it back over her arm. That's not okay. Stop it now. Get some help. Ah, uh, nothing. Your face is all red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Ah, uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so... Let's mix the paint. I don't know how thick her turtleneck is to be able to just not show blood like that. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I like to paint the gradient across the banner, starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write inspirational quote across the banner. You can hang it on the wall behind the podium in front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. Even though I don't think it ever actually tells me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. 
I use, uses a brush and adds a few dots and different colors across the banner to serve as color guides for when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, I'm sorry this just feels childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Here you stop painting for a moment, thinking to yourself. For me, I, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. That, I usually don't even want to. I just like it when I spend most of my time with one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes me feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even with Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime, games, or simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. Right, my lovely people? I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. And you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner and grabs an unusual paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing the head to bump into hers. Ah. Wait, I'm sorry. Ah. How do you even make that sound? It's like, I suppose that's overreacted sound. It's just like, Kah! <laughs> like ultimate fighting set. Just kick. <laughs> Yuri needs to uh, renewal back, and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Oh, are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It was just on me. That's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. No, it's not not your fault. Uh, your face. This drop was the pants on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I suddenly got pain on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll go get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel and damp it with hot water. I return to my room and go back out in front of her. Hmm. Here, I pat down your face and neck with the towel. Ah, uh, something wrong? It's hard, I just didn't expect it. Uh, sorry, I didn't want to use cold water. Having first, I start to retract my hand. Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. Feels really nice. Ah. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. Looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads one of her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze and fell up to her own thoughts. She breathes gently half through the slightly parted lips. What is happening? I see a rum in the jasmine was giving me this dizzy feeling. Very gently. Oh, uh, <laughs> see, I read that wrong. <laughs> I read that quite wrong. Yuri's gentle fingers wrap around my wrist, sending a tingling sensation throughout my arm. Suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again. But her movement seemed clumsier and she's not, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the events that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the nice guy with white dots that look like stars. Look, Looking at the banner as a whole, it's pretty natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm real happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add in the lettering now? Ah, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here and then have someone bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for me to do here. Phew! <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. I was... Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see, I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left? Secretly hoping you'd have extra time after finishing the work. Oh, you already thinks to herself. I think it would be irresponsible for me to wait much longer. I'm really sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. I'm sorry for being such a slow worker. Oh, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is, we got everything done, right? Yeah, so I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounds like she really gets this opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. 
Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out to the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need for me to bring you tomorrow. You like bandages or anything? <laughs> I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I can't say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have much time as we wanted, because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over, or we can go out somewhere. Ah, I forgot, she don't like going out much. I stumble over my words, and Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Succubus. Yuri takes a step closer to me, and then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to, as Yuri suddenly pulls back. <laughs> Monica! Eh? Ah! <laughs> oh wait, no, that was Monica. <laughs> no, I thought that was me, it was Monica. Monica, <laughs> Monica just walks up to us. Ah! Hello! Fear me! Ah, don't let me get in the way. Monica! Yuri said she was just helping out online. I changed my mind and decided to come over. Anyways, just now we weren't- Oh, I know. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. I won't say a word. I was just on my way to Siori's, so the work for the festival won't get itself done. Especially if I'm not online. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way out to leave. Ah, oh, really? That's too bad. It's been a while since it's been just us girls. I'm sorry, but we'll be all together at the festival tomorrow, so that's fine, right? Of course, of course. Yeah, so, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Monica waves goodbye after. Now it's Yuri, hmm? I... She's already told you what she's going through, right? I try to open my mouth, but nothing comes out. I was about to ask how she knew, but it's likely that Yuri told Monica about things. They seem like close friends after all. I... Don't worry about it. What? If you are going after someone or something, don't do it half-heartedly. So don't worry. I'll take care of things so you can focus on what's ahead of you. <laughs> Monica gives an enigmatic laugh. Even if you try to save one, you can only do one at a time, huh? I guess even you have your limits. Or maybe it's how you want things, but it hardly matters. I'll handle what you can't. It's not like I have much to do anyways. Monica, hmm? Um, I don't really know how to say this, but thanks. <laughs> Alright, see you tomorrow at the festival, Sarkopus. With that, Monica gives a wave as she's going towards the Oi's house. Alright, I guess we better go rest for the festival tomorrow. And now it's festival time and we are ending there. Now, uh, there is only one more video for Yuri after this. Now, please let me know if you want me to... Actually, no, don't even let me know. I'm going to finish. But if you want me to keep playing Toki Toki after everyone's route is finished. Which right now, we just have Yuri left. Then we're going to be doing Siori. Then we'll be finishing up Monica. After that, I'll be looking for other games to record. But with all that said, we are ending for today. We had a nice time with Yori. Yori still cuts herself, which is not good in any form or fashion. No, 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 no. Oh, but hopefully that will all be fixed. But I love you. I know you love me. Hopefully I'll get another video out before I have to go back to work. And... Make sure to follow me on Twitch. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>